So there has been a plague run in this town, and I'm here to find a solution to get rid of this plague. And what I mean is the Forza Horizon 3 community on PC, uh, for the most part on PC, are having trouble connecting their wheels up and get them working right. So, what's up guys, Smurrister24 here. I am going to try and fix that for you guys. I have sort of a solution, and I hope it works for you guys. It worked for me, and it still does work for me because Windows 10 still likes to mess with my wheel settings and basically delete my wheel off of my computer every now and then. Not literally, but like the drivers, they mess it up. So we're gonna get right into it. So a lot of people have been coming to me about the whole shifter thing and maybe sometimes even the pedal and the clutch not working. Um, and I, I kinda wanna help them out because I think I have a solution to that. So if you actually, this is, we're gonna get right into it. So if you actually open up your Logitech profile or this one right here the gaming software this one's for my my mouse and this one's for mouse and, and keyboards and all that other stuff I have both the Logitech uh, keyboard and mouse so don't do this one this one you know it used to be able to like this one didn't even work with this one but I don't know you might not even have this one so choose this one this is the old one and this for some reason takes so long for me to load up so I'm going to come back when it does load up. Okay, so once this thing loads up, it literally took like 10 minutes. I don't know what the fuck. Well, not actually 10 minutes. But if you see this wheel, this is what I used to get at some old ass driving force Logitech. It's like one of the very first ones, if I were to guess. And it's just a two pedaler, uh, no stick shift, no nothing. I don't believe it, at least. And it's got paddle shifters. It's just a piece of shit, really. So if you see this wheel, It'll be, it, usually mine was in purple. I think they made them in blue and yellow, um, at least this purple part. But if you see that here, then there's your problem, first of all. Now, if you, if you do see your wheel here, and it, and it looks just like this, assuming you have the G27, um, then, then I just, I don't know, honestly, maybe check your connections, you know, all that stupid shit that you obviously have already done. And if you haven't, then... Definitely do that. Check your connections. Um, you should have done that by now. Anyways, um, so yeah, if you see this wheel here, this is this is the problem. All right, so let's get right into it. What you want to do is go straight into Control Panel, and then from there, oops, from there, um, go into Devices and Printers. Go into you'll see this right here it may say something different it may say something totally different like logitech or something because your drivers are all out of whack basically so what you want to do is you go into properties thank god that worked one time it didn't open up for me i just had to restart my computer if it so if that doesn't work just restart your computer um oh, computers are weird so this one right here make sure it'll already be highlighted if you don't click this one click stay on to this one click properties and then go down to driver, oh no, 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 no. Then click change settings, it'll pop up with this one instead. This is basically like an uh, administrator mode when you hit that button. And then you hit driver tab, update driver, and then you say browse my computer. And then from here you wanna say let me pick a list of drivers that are already on my computer. And then USB input, you're gonna click this one, okay? And then you click next. And I'm afraid to do this because I've already done it. Um, actually, you're gonna see. I think you see three of them there. I'm not. I'm not exactly 100% sure. I think you see three, but the one that says USB, you need to click that one and then click next. And then okay. And then you're basically set. If this, you can actually hear my wheel restarting up and everything. But if this didn't change right in front of your eyes, um, just restart it. I'm not sure how that works. I never had this open while I did this, but that should fix the problem. That I mean, no, that will definitely 100% fix this problem of it being a purple piece of crap wheel, and it should change to this. Um, but restart it, restart this thing if it didn't change. Um, and if you have to restart it and then it still doesn't work, just close this and then do it again. Um, so it's pretty easy. Just 
you know, hardware, properties, change settings, driver, update, let me do it, let me do it, and then now I've got three here. I don't know why. Um, it was probably ready to give out again because Windows 10 has been really douchebaggish lately. Um, and then, you know, the, U the one that says USB, it'll say just like it did on mine, the USB input device, just like this one. And then hit next, and then you should be good. So, that is basically the only solution I really have for this, the, the one that actually worked. So, other than that, all I can say is reinstall Logitech Profiler, step one. Don't do anything from there. Uh reinstall all the like uninstall the drivers from here and you can do that by going into control panel uh, shit I don't like this going into control sorry control panel and then device manager and this is the easier way to do that and then I believe okay it'll actually be in human interface uh, devices and then it'll be the you'll see the Logitech G27 just uh, uninstall that and then um, I think you can just Google the G27 here Logitech G27 uh, drivers and then that'll basically be right there in front of you you can look at all these problems, Windows 10. They need to get their shit fixed. And then it'll be on the downloads. It'll take you down. Just got to scroll down, I guess. And then select Windows 10 or whatever you have, assuming Windows 10. And then 32 or 64 bit download. And then after you do that, after you reinstall the driver, reinstall this thing. And then that should work. Make sure you have your wheel unplugged, though. I forgot to mention that. While all this is happening. Unplug your wheel. Um, and if that doesn't work, uninstall everything again, and then just plug your wheel in. Without installing anything. And see what happens then. But my solution should work. And it's like the easiest way. You just gotta remember where everything is at. And make sure you only update the USB. I don't think it matters, though. If you try and update the other ones, it'll just do nothing, basically. So, yeah, guys, that is pretty much my only solution for the problems you guys have been having and asking me questions about. I really hope it worked for you guys. I really hope, uh, I really hope that, you know, I can help in any way possible because I am here for the brethren of the Forza community on PC. Screw them Xbox boys, they got it made, they're being lazy, Turn 10's being lazy with us, even after all these years, they gotten soft, I don't know, whatever, we'll deal with it, they'll get it fixed eventually, um, we'll just have to fight through it all, I don't know, whatever, but anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if it did help you out, go ahead and leave that like, I really do appreciate it when I see the likes and the comments, and uh, subscribe if you're new. Check out my other videos. Lots of gameplay. And I will see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, take it easy.